Right, so you've probably clicked on this video because you're thinking about studying computer science at university. And do you wanna know if it's really worth it? So worry no more because in this video, I'm going to review my computer science degree. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded, but if you're new here, this channel is all about university and career. I mainly talk about the fields of computer science and law, but I do dabble into other areas as well. So if that sounds interesting and you find this video useful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and leave a comment down below as well. But the reason you came to this video is because you wanna know what I thought about my computer science degree. So on the screen now, you should see a breakdown of this video so that you can skip to the parts that are of interest to you, or you can just watch all of it. I much prefer that. But without further ado, let me give an overview of my experience studying computer science. Right, so for those who don't know, I studied computer science at Loughborough University. It actually sounds kind of crazy saying that because I finished my degree a few days ago. And I'm no longer a student. Well, I'm doing a law conversion, so. But I'm no longer a student for a few months. <laughs> but yeah, I did, I studied computer science at Loughborough University and overall I would say it was a great experience, a great learning experience but let me talk to you about the actual course structure so that you have an idea of what a computer science course at a good university might look like. So beginning with first year I'll just give a general overview. First year was pretty evenly split across maths, theory and programming. Second year had a larger emphasis on programming. That was mainly because we had to do a team project that ran across the entire academic year. But there was still a good amount of maths slash logic and theory as well. Then after my second year, I did a year in industry. But if you do wanna find out more about internships and industrial placements, then click on one of the videos that appears at the top. I can't really remember right now. <laughs> but moving on to my final year, final year had the largest emphasis on programming. And this was because we all had to do a final year project, which I can make a video on if you want to know what a computer science final year project might look like. But one thing that differentiated final year from the other years was that I was able to choose business modules to study. So I guess by sharing this course structure overview, I should remind you that it's worth looking at the course breakdown for the universities that you're interested in, because you wanna make sure that if you wanna study a computer science degree that has a lot of programming in it, then you apply to universities that can offer that. Um, if you want an evenly distributed course, then apply to universities that can offer that as well. And I would say that Loughborough falls in that category, at least in my opinion, of having quite an evenly distributed course around maths, theory, and programming. And I guess that you should remember that if you're studying any subjects at university, you're trying to develop a wide understanding of the entire subject area. But yeah, that's a quick breakdown of my course's structure. Now let's go on to a few of the questions that I have set myself. So the first question is, what did I like about the course? One thing that I definitely liked about studying computer science, and this applies to most computer science courses at universities, is that in your first year, they assume that you don't know anything about computer science. So if you're someone who doesn't come from a computer science background in terms of A-levels or IB or whatever qualification you did, you don't have to worry too much that you won't understand the concepts that they teach you because they're going to teach you in a way where they're assuming that you're a beginner. Having said that, I believe that most university courses require that you study maths at A level or at an equivalent level. And I know that physics is another subject that is quite popular amongst computer science students in university. Another thing that I quite liked about studying computer science was how relevant it felt in today's world. So if you were to list out all the university subjects that are available at universities, I would say that computer science would rank quite high up when it actually comes to relevancy in today's world. And this is because you'll be learning about contemporary programming languages. We're also going to be learning about new computer science concepts and technologies. The third thing that I would say I really enjoyed about studying computer science was the sense of satisfaction that came when I would overcome a technical challenge. So if you're familiar with programming or if you're starting programming, you're going to know that there will be times where you are stuck and you have a bunch of code in front of you and you need to find where an error is or you need to find how to make the code better. And I won't lie, sometimes trying to figure out those things 
can be absolutely soul destroying. But the moment that you're able to figure something out and approach a problem in a different way and it actually leads to a solution that you can work with, that is very much a satisfying accomplishment. So yeah, if you're someone who's into problem solving and you also want to develop your understanding of computers and be technically sound when it comes to technology, then computer science is definitely a subject that you should consider. And the final thing that I would say that I like about computer science is that it is a very well respected degree to have. So yeah, those are a few things that I liked about my course. So let's go on to the next question. What did I think could be better? Hmm, that's a good question, you know, that's actually a good question. What do I think could be better? Do you know what? I think for my course specifically, if there was a module dedicated to Swift, so that is the programming language that is behind many iOS apps, I think that would have been a great addition to the course. I do believe that some other universities offer Swift modules. The first university that comes to mind is Stanford because I know that they have this YouTube series teaching people how to use Swift. But apart from that and more generally, what do I think could be improved in a computer science course? I wouldn't really be too critical about it. So with that being said, let's go on to the next question, which is what are the job prospects when studying computer science? So this one is an interesting question because what you normally hear is that if you study computer science, you're going to go into the industry where all the money is and all of this. but at the same time computer science graduates have one of if not the highest levels of unemployment after graduation so how exactly does that work now despite what i've just said there seems to be conflicting views around employment slash unemployment of computer science graduates i'll put a few links in the description of articles that talk about computer science having quite a low unemployment rate after university and also some articles that talk about it having a higher employment rate where exactly does the truth lie? Well, what I would say is that if you study computer science and you are a very skilled programmer, you're a very successful student, then you shouldn't really worry about securing a job because you'll have the skill set and technical ability to thrive in any tech work environment that you're thrown into. But if you're studying computer science just to learn the basics of programming and you're just going to make basic web pages or basic apps and that kind of stuff, then you may struggle to be successful in securing software engineering jobs or any other technically intensive computer science jobs because the competition will be so high. So yeah, my, my personal view on it is that if you're a very good computer science student and you also have great social skills, then there is really nothing to worry about. Just be the best version of yourself and you'll have this really valuable skill set that is very useful in today's world. Another Another thing that I would talk about in terms of job prospects is that if you study computer science, you're not limited to only getting tech roles at companies. You can also apply to other roles and be successful in your application. So as an example, if you study computer science or you're interested in going into investment banking, that is a degree that is looked at favorably by many investment banks. Let's go on to the next question, which is, how hard is studying computer science? Yes, I, I would say it's hard. If you get stuck on a programming problem, it's not really easy to go to a lecturer and be like, hey lecturer, I'm stuck here, can you help me? Because if you have a really complex program where lots of classes depend on each other and there are modules that are imported and, and it's just a whole spaghetti soup of code, it's not so practical or easy for you or the lecturer to be like, um, can you please help me on this piece of code? Because the lecturer would have to study the code for a long period of time before they're able to come with a solution, if they are even able to find a solution. So it's in those moments where you really need to solve that problem yourself. And I believe that those are the moments that really develop you into a great programmer. But I don't think anyone should be discouraged from studying computer science because they might get stuck on a programming issue at some point in their degree because that is bound to happen. You're inevitably going to get stuck on pieces of code and that happens all the time, even when you start working because it's all about learning something new. So let's go on to the final question, which is kind of related, but I'm sure you would wanna know the answer to it. And that question is, how is balancing computer science with having a life? I remember 
It's all about how you manage your time and how you organize yourself. So if you're someone who can stay organized and you can set yourself deadlines and meet actual deadlines and you also know how to balance things in your life, then you can study computer science whilst also having a life. So yeah, those are all the questions for this video. I hope you found this insightful. And if you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new. More content like this will be coming on a weekly basis. If you do have a question, do message me on my Instagram and I'll be sure to get back to you. But with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time for another video.